Ziva Soroker, and I am the founder and director of Venus Rising. <music> Fell in love with reggae music, moved to Jamaica, and studied uh, some of the traditional rhythms over there. I was really blessed to meet an amazing man by the name of Cedric M. Brooks. From that first moment, I fell in love. I went in that direction of, of studying African music. For example, I was in New Orleans and uh, wanted to take a djembe class. And I was told by the teacher that we can't start the class until I move the drum away from me because some, there was something sacrilegious about that, that you know, women shouldn't play drums. Multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-generational group. Our, one of our youngest members is in her 20s and one of our oldest members just celebrated her 60th birthday. My name is Penny Peterson. I've been dancing since I was maybe around three years old. And now I'm a grandmother. The whole idea of an all-female group was very empowering. My name is Inez and I'm the newest member of Venus Rising, the youngest, and I'm from Haiti. When you play with men, it's fun, but when you play with strong women, it's inspirational. It makes you stronger, it makes you, I don't know, it makes you hopeful about what you could become and like, and I feel like I'm learning every time I'm with them, performing with them in rehearsal. Really amazing to be around that kind of energy. Venus Rising works with another company, a very talented company called Children of Kumba, and that's directed by Anita Macbeth, who's also one of our dancers and one of the most amazing West African dancers down here in South Florida. There is a very intimate connection between drumming and dancing. The drums are speaking to the dancers. The dancers are responding to the drums. So it, it's like this. It's really hard to have one without the other. Celebrating diversity. And that's like, yes, we're diverse, but we want to show how beautiful it is to celebrate that.